it's Gwen welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you all another concert vlog very excited today I'm going to see dance Gavin dance right here in Chicago at the house of blues today is April 18th and I'm actually seeing them tonight and tomorrow night so since I'm going to see them today and tomorrow in Chicago um, I think I'm gonna like vlog both shows um, I don't know one I might end up getting more footage at than the other um, so we will see so basically what happened is that their original Chicago date for their artificial selection tour was today Thursday April 18th and then it literally sold out so fast they were like damn Chicago we're gonna add a second date and also come Friday and obviously I had tickets to Thursday and then a few days later they announced Friday and I was like shit like it's a Friday like should I go to the second date and then I was like I don't know do I like want to pay for like another ticket and I was like you know what screw it yes we're doing a double header a dance Gavin dance double header and you know what I feel like it works because I've never seen them live before so I can justify that like they're here might as well see them twice and the funny thing is when I actually bought the tickets I was like shit I mean I know I have class on a Friday but like whatever I'll probably be tired but like I can still manage it well guess what I realized like a few weeks after I bought the tickets that this is actually Easter break right now I literally just got out of my last class um, and we have tomorrow Friday off and we also have Monday off so we have a long weekend for Easter which makes it even more perfect because I don't have classes tomorrow so I can go crazy tonight sleep in get the day off tomorrow and then do it all again and I'll probably have literally no voice by the end of this vlog so it'll be great to see what happens because we all know what happened back in December when I did two shows in a row I was pretty dead so this is gonna be intense this is a dance Gavin dance I mean this is gonna be a pretty fun tour the lineup is Covet, Hail the Sun, Don Broco, Periphery, and then dance Gavin dance I don't think I forget anyone. Um, it's five bands, pretty great lineup. I've been listening to the set list for quite a while now. Covet is an instrumental band, so I'm excited to see them live. Um, and then I've, I like, you know, I would say I like like a handful of songs by Periphery and Hail the Sun. John Broco, I've really gotten into. They're like kind of unique for this tour. Like they're pop and I don't even know, alternative pop, like dance music I really don't know what to call them they're their own genre but they're super fun I'm actually really excited to see them tonight and then obviously I'm going for dance Gavin dance I have gotten into them so much I heard a few of their songs for the first time last summer because Alex showed me them and then I just literally have fallen in love with artificial selection over like the past few months and I'm so glad that I get to go and see them on the artificial selection tour because that's literally the album that like made me fall in love with them and now I'm like working my way back into their older stuff and I love it so it's a great time um so another weird thing about these two shows is actually they're both at different times so it's about four o'clock right today's show <laughs> doors opened at 3 30 p.m and the show starts at 4 30 which is so weird and so early and like I get that there's five bands but like that is weirdly early you know what I mean like most people don't get out of work I feel like until five so I feel like nobody's gonna really show up until like six I don't even know we will see and then tomorrow's show is an hour later so doors open at 4 30 show starts at 5 30. now I had a class today till 3 45 the one I literally just got out of so that's why it's four and I'm still here so obviously I'm probably going to miss Covet and maybe Hail the Sun honestly as long as I don't miss Don Broco we good and like everybody else after that you know but it kind of works out to where like if I end up missing people today um, I'm most likely going to go to the entire show tomorrow so like I have a second date to see everybody so so that's great so yeah it's four right now um, I'm still kind of like getting ready um, I just have to finish my makeup and then pack up and then I gotta go eat I have literally I'm living on like a breakfast I hadn't do not have lunch because I had like the most hectic crazy day so I'm like starving right now so I'm gonna go and eat I gotta figure out like what dining hall is open because my roommates are gone they left for a break <laughs> just just me as usual I mean this is how life goes I'm always just here so yeah I gotta go eat some food and like feast before I was debating going to like Chipotle or something before the show and like eating a lot but I think I might do that tomorrow because um tomorrow like I'll have more time and I won't have class and it'll be easier um so yeah I'm basically gonna finish getting ready go eat and then head down there um this is gonna be so much fun I'm literally so excited for this show and I don't know this is my first time I realized going to more than one date for the same tour other than Warp Tour so this should be really fun I'm glad that I got these two opportunities to see them I think it's just it's gonna be fun and I don't know I might film more at one show and another show kind of enjoy it more we will see obviously what happens and how much I get you know footage of but I think it's gonna be intense obviously both these shows sold out so like 
it's gonna be lit. I'm very excited. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll do a quick little out for the night before I leave. All right guys, so I'm pretty much ready to go. Didn't take me much time, um, but tonight, I mean, classic outfit. I'm wearing my Ozzy Osbourne shirt, uh, this flannel that I literally wore in like the last concert vlog. Normal belt, black jeans, my blue Vans. Like, do I even need to do an outfit of the night anymore, you guys? Because I'm pretty sure you just can guess what I'm going to wear. I only have so many outfits. <laughs> um, I actually, the outfit that I, like, planned for this show is, like, I'm going to save till tomorrow because I feel like more people are going to be there. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I don't know. I was going to wear my Attila shirt tomorrow because I feel like Attila screams harder band you know. That's my logic. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it's like 4 12. I'm gonna go eat and then I'll be off. I'm truly convinced, like thinking about it, this show is going to end by like 9 o'clock and I'm confused. <laughs> like I'm not mad at it because it's like I'm tired. Like it's been a long ass day. I've literally been running around the city all day. I'm not even kidding. It's been really stressful. So like I'm not opposed to like being back here by 10, going to sleep early like that. I'm fine with it. But it's just like so weird. I don't know. I think venues in Chicago have some sort of weird, like, curfew rule because the Metro had that. When they had the Story So Far show that Thursday night in the fall, they had a weird same thing where it was, like, an hour earlier on Thursday and an hour later on the Friday. So I'm convinced. I don't know. I told my dad about this. He's like, I've never heard of that. My friend from home has never heard of it. But I'm like, these are what people are telling me. There's some weird curfew thing. I, it makes no sense. I don't understand it, but that's what these venues have to do. I don't know. That's my only explanation for this. If you guys know why, tell me, because I'm curious. Also, going back to the House of Blues, and if you guys know what happened to me there last time, you'll understand why I'm a little nervy. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, I'll link the vlog right here when I saw State Champs there in the beginning of March. Um, had some security issues getting to the pit, which wasn't fun, and this is a sold out show, and I'm really hoping they don't like start being like capacity. So I gotta like make sure I stay in the pit before. I'm like planning like when my water and bathroom breaks are because I'm seriously like, I realize I have two shows, but I'm not trying to get stuck outside of the pit. Like I'm trying to go hard in the pit. I haven't been to like a really hard show since Attila, which is like a little over a month ago. Like my last show, Jetty Bones, you know, real, real chill. So I haven't been to like a harder show in like oh, a little over a month, so. I'm ready to fuck some shit up. Mostly I'm just ready to see Dance Gavin dance. I am so excited. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
Hi y'all. <laughs> so I just got back to my dorm. It is 10, which is so weird. I, first off, I'm so tired. I like got out of there and in my head I'm like, oh my god, it's probably like 10, 30 or 11 when I left. The show literally ended probably before 9 because I was on the L going back at like 9. <laughs> um, so the show definitely ended probably, I guess like 8.45 because they went on like 7.45 and their set was probably around an hour, so weird, really weird, like, I don't know, really odd. Um, I missed the first two bands, I didn't get to see Covet or Hail the Sun. Actually, when I got there, um, I heard like Hail the Sun playing when I got there. When I got there, I went to the bathroom and like in the stall, I was like, oh, this is my song. <laughs> and it was like the last song they were playing. Um, honestly, from what I heard, I didn't hear much, but from what I heard, they did not sound like great live. I was in the stall and I was like, oh shit, they do not sound great. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm, I'm not gonna decide it off of that. Um, I'm gonna give it another chance, obviously, and like probably see them tomorrow because I was obviously late today and I will probably go to the whole show tomorrow I think but yeah when I got there I saw Don Broco periphery and obviously dance Gavin dance what a fucking show oh my god <laughs> there was oh my god okay Don Broco they wanted like a mosh pit people were moshing to Don Broco and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen and then there was a freaking wall of death for Don Broco let's just wall of death to like pretty or like technology like what I wasn't in it because I was on the side laughing at the fact that there was a wall of death I was cracking up but I kind of want to do it again tomorrow so if they do it again I'm gonna be in that Don Broco pit um to be honest I kind of stayed in the same spot during Don Broco and periphery because I just like wanted to save my energy for dance Gavin dance and I'm glad I did because today was super exhausting and like that's why I think I feel so tired right now because I was like I had a really hectic day so tomorrow I think that like I'll be a little more energetic um honestly like I wasn't even in the pit that much during dance Gavin dance like I was but wasn't I don't know I didn't go like super hard um I don't know. Honestly, here's the thing, okay? Like, I haven't worked out in, like, ages. I can't wait till it's summer when, like, I actually have, like, time to work out and, like, I can, like, go back to doing, like, my routine at home that I used to do, like, over summer and stuff because, like, I realize, like, I get out of breath and winded so easily at shows now. Like, it's the saddest thing and it's like this, I, I can't have this for the summer. I need to build up my strength for the summer because when I'm home, it's like show, 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 show and, like, I have to go through a show and then go do like a drive back. Like I was exhausted. I was on the L and falling asleep at like nine o'clock. And I'm like, I was thinking about the summer. I was like, this can't happen in the summer cause it's gonna be like 10 or 11 o'clock and then I'm gonna have like a two hour drive. Like girl can't be falling asleep behind the wheel. Uh, but it's so nice being in a city. Like I'm going to miss the fact that I can just hop on the L and like just be taken home and it's free like oh my god a concept it's so great well it's it's free for me because like my u card if you ask it's because college um but still like i'm gonna miss the fact that it's so easy to just like get to place in the city and like i don't know i'm gonna miss public transit over the summer anyways that's not what this is about um but overall it was a really great show dance gavin dance so good live. I mean, honestly, like, exactly what I predicted. Maybe a little more. I mean, they sound just like the recordings. Like, it is just flawless. It's so impressive, and they put on a great show. They had really neat lights. The background was really cool, like, the um, banner where it said their name, and then it had, like, the tree from Artificial Selection, because, you know, that's the tour for this. But my one complaint is that they played a lot from Artificial Selection, you know. And then, okay... <laughs> So the song that got me into them and the song that y'all probably know if you know them is Care. It was the big single from Artificial Selection. It's, I just looked, it's their fourth top song on Spotify and they didn't play it. This is the song, the first song I ever heard by them. The song that got me into them. The song that I fell in love with. Probably still like one of my favorite songs by them ever. Like it literally makes me so happy. It brings me to tears. And I was like, I thought they were going to play it. Like in my head this entire night, I was like, oh, Care is going to happen at some point. Or like they still have to play Care. And then like when they left and then they came back for the encore, I was like, oh, it's time for Care. And then they played Evaporate, which I love. And I, I knew that was going to be part of the encore. But I was like, where the hell is Care? And then I realized I haven't been, even been listening to Care. It hasn't been in my set list playlist. Like, I don't know why I thought I was going to hear it tonight when I haven't even been listening to it these past few weeks. So that's my one complaint. One complaint is that they did not play Care, which I find really odd because, like, it's one of their top songs from the album that they're doing the tour for. So I don't really understand that. They did play a lot of oldies, which I've learned and I enjoy. Um, and they played enough from our selection, but, like... My one complaint, I didn't get to hear Care, and I really want to hear that song live. But yeah, um, it was a really lit time. 
Um, there was no capacity issues with security tonight, thank the sweet lord, um, because I just didn't need that. It was pretty packed in there. I mean, we were all packed together very tightly. It was a pretty sweaty show. I don't think I've been to a show that sweaty in a while. Like, I'm gross. I'm gonna go take a shower because I have so many different kind of people sweat on me right now and probably some beer as well. It's great. So I'm gonna, definitely gonna go shower after this. Um, but yeah, oh my god. Like, I, I think my arms are gonna hurt tomorrow from, like, holding them up. Not even for, like, a pit, but just because, like, there were so many people everywhere. Like, in the beginning, I wasn't even in the pit. I was just, like, being moved around constantly and then like I got to the pit eventually and like shit was just crazy like in a good way I love it but like man it was packed it kind of reminded me of like the story so far back in the fall where it was just like there is not enough room for all of us in this one space but we are just gonna do it anyways <laughs> Like you just move with everybody and you're so close. Oh my god. It's it's a lot I crowd surfed once only once I think just once um, and it was so nice There was this guy actually this group of guys in the middle of the set that were just like they were all putting their hands out like this You know like for someone's foot and they're like anybody 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 at first It wasn't a song that like I love enough to be like oh I want to crowd surf during this song Um, so I was just like no 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 and they were like it's your chance it's everyone's chance come on you gotta do it and I was like I would and then they did it again for the next song and I think it was we own the night and so I was like bitch I, I mean this is a pretty good song so I was like you know what if you guys are offering put me up because I always feel bad going up to someone and like asking them I don't know I just feel like I'm annoying them I'm rude I don't know you know but it was bringing back to Attila where the same thing where there were people that were just like you want to go up want to go up hey here's my hand you know put your foot on it and I was like thank you so much so the guys were like I want to go up and then the girl the guy was like oh she does she does and I was like put me up there so yeah and it was a great crowd surfing experience honestly the one thing I like about the venue too is how spread open the pit is in terms of like I don't know the venue is really pretty so when you're crowd surfing in a certain way where like your head is towards the stage and you just like look out and you see like, the balcony and everybody it's like really satisfying and I had a really smooth ride to be honest like it was pretty nice considering I don't know I mean no one was really falling the crowd was pretty great but it was a really smooth ride I was just sailing everyone was looking up at me and I was like we own the night so yeah I mean it was great <laughs> really really fun like I said I didn't really mosh as much as I wanted to so I think it's definitely gonna be my goal for tomorrow is just to mosh more I don't know. I was kind of feeling out the crowd. Dance Gab and dance fans, like I said in the beginning, they go hard as fuck. Like, they're crazy. And, like, in a good way, though. Like, I definitely like it. It's not in a bad way, but it was just like, wow, like, I'm not used to this. It was kind of like when I saw the story so far, and I was like, shit, these people go off, and I'm here for it, you know? But, like, it's kind of intimidating at first, especially because, like, I'm new to the fandom, you could say, you know, um, and it was a lot of guys, too, a lot of big dudes, not a lot of girls in the pit, either, which is, like, makes it even more intimidating, like, I'm not trying to actually die, so, goal tomorrow, mosh to Don Broco, or, like, do the wall of death, because, like, how can I not, and also, like, the people I was sitting next to during Don Broco, like, didn't even know them, so it's kind of, like, depressing, because I'm, like, over there bopping, and I feel like I'm being annoying, because, like, they don't care, so I definitely want to, like, be more in, like, where all the Don Broco fans are, because they were great live, oh my god, like, I would see them again in a heartbeat, I'm already, like, oh my god, I'm so excited to see them again tomorrow, because such a different vibe, but, like, a great vibe, I don't know, they sound so good live, they just put a really fun show, I, I really love them, so I encourage you guys to see them live, honestly, Periphery, kind of a snooze fest for me okay and then honestly i think it's more of a me thing than a them thing because like they didn't do anything wrong they're great live they sound like they do on spotify and like i like a handful of their songs but like i definitely would not call myself a fan i just don't really think it's like my style you know what i mean i think like all of their songs kind of sound the same like it's that sort of certain style where i'm in my head it's just like, it doesn't really interest me that much. It's kind of like how I see that some people feel this way about pop punk, which I totally get, you know? Like, obviously, in my head, I see it differently. I'm like, no, 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 there's, like, differences. But I can see how some people can be like, oh, all pop punk sounds the same. It's kind of like that in my head with, like, whatever their genre is. I don't even know what you'd call them, honestly. Like, I don't know. But they remind me of other bands where it's, like, it's the same kind of thing over and over and just not my cup of tea. But they had a lot of fans there. Um, and I was, I mean, I was singing along some of the songs, but I was just like, meh. Like, what is, when is this over? I want to see Dance Gavin Dance. <laughs> uh, but I was respectful, you know. Oh my god, and then this guy got a nosebleed right next to me, and, like, at first, I thought he was just, like, like, I don't know, picking his nose or, like, something, you know? But, but then I looked in his hands, full of blood, and, like, he was sitting there right next to me. I don't think any of it, like, got on me, but, like, I was afraid it was going to, and I, the pit was right there, and I was like, well, dive in! <laughs> so I dive into the pit because I don't want to be next to the guy who was bleeding, so that was a time. But, yeah, um, and at the end, I, like, ran up. They were giving out so many set lists and drums sticks and I didn't get one but I was so 
close. And they, no picks, by the way, no picks at all. They just like don't give out picks. But like so many set lists, and I'm really trying to get a set list because I've never got a set list before or a drumstick. Uh, so I'm gonna try again tomorrow, but like I was literally like running around trying to get one. I almost got the um, drumstick, but like I just didn't. And I was just like, why? And these two guys both got the drumstick, like they both grabbed it, and then they did rock, paper, scissors to like see whoever gets it, and that was entertaining, but. I just I just want a set list. When will the time come for old Gwenny to get a set list? You know, one day. One day. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. A little recap of the first night of the tour. But I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow before the second show. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I just finished getting ready for today's show, which is the exact same show as yesterday, obviously. I am so excited to see it again. I'm actually so happy that I'm seeing it again, honestly, because like like I mentioned yesterday, I feel like yesterday was like a test run. Like, I was not used to Dance Gavin dance shows, and like their fans are crazy, but in the best way. And now like, I'm ready to fuck shit up. I don't know, I don't know like, the difference between like today's crowd and yesterday's crowd like I don't know if it's gonna be harder or not as hard I really I don't know but I'm very excited that I'm going again because honestly there are so many bands at this show and like obviously I didn't get to see everyone yesterday I don't know it's just like one of those shows where it's like I'm glad I get to experience it a second time so I'm really excited um show starts an hour later today so right now it's around 3 20 um my plan is to leave at 3 30 because I'm gonna head downtown um and get off at like the normal grand stop that I have to get off for the show, but I'm gonna go and eat dinner before. Um, there's literally a Chipotle right off the Grand Stop, and like, that's exactly what I wanted, and it's it's great. So I'm gonna go and get some food before, um, because literally like, all of the good dining halls are like, closed, because it's Easter break, and so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go and eat down there, um, and then I'll be ready. So the show is gonna start around 5.30, so I figure hopefully I can get there like around five-ish. Um, obviously I didn't get to see Covet or really Hail the Sun yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to see everybody today. Um, mainly though, like my goals of the night are to, obviously like I do really want, actually want to see Covet just because they are instrumental and I'm like really curious to see what they look like live. Um, Hail the Sun, I mean I caught a bit of their set yesterday, like I just heard it, um, didn't sound very great. So I'm, not really super excited to see them because I feel like they're not going to sound good live, but we will see. Uh, but my goal is for the night, yeah, see Covet. I want to mosh to Don Broco. If he starts a circle pit and a wall of death, I want to be in that tonight because I didn't get a chance to last night because I was just like, what the hell is going on? Like, this is so weird. But like, Pretty literally just came on as I was getting ready and I was like, okay, moshing to this song, like, Loki, I'm here for it. So I want to do that. Um, my other goal is just to like mosh more in the Dance Gavin dance pit now that I'm like used to how the shows are. Um, you know, like what their fans are like and everything. I want to mosh a bit more to them. Um, and then the last goal is to get either a set list or a drumstick. I really, I just want one because they were giving out so many at the end of the show yesterday and like, ugh, I was close but I didn't get one. So, I mean, my goal is to like once again try and try and get something. I would love to get a Dance Gavin Dance set list. Like that would be so great because honestly, other than the fact that Care is not on the set list, it's a pretty good set list. So I would just, I would love to get one of their set lists, so. I don't know guys, we gonna try, we're gonna see what happens. Also, our room is a mess. Um, I really was not very productive today, so there's literally stuff everywhere, like, there's all these clothes out because I'm going to my grandparents tomorrow, so I, like, low-key kind of started packing, except not really, and I know I'm not gonna do it tomorrow morning, but, like, I don't know, there's just stuff everywhere. Like, there's literally just shit everywhere. There's all these coins from yesterday, my fanny pack, I just, there's just stuff everywhere. My room's a mess. Um, I'll do a little outfit of the night for you guys. Um, so I'm wearing my Taylor shirt, like I mentioned that I wanted to wear yesterday. Um, and then I'm wearing my green jeans, and then I'm wearing the same flannel as yesterday. I was gonna wear a different one, but I realized since this one's, like, already gross, might as well just wear it again, and then I'm gonna wash it, obviously, after the show. So, yeah, that's the outfit of the night. And I'm gonna wear my blue vans again, because they held up really well yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna head out soon, and we will be off for night two. <laughs>
everybody so it is the next day and I am just gonna do a little recap from you know the differences between the two shows and all that um, last night was super fun definitely different um, dance Gavin dance changed up the set list so um, they played a lot more older stuff, um, so not as many songs that I knew, honestly. I don't really know, like, a lot of the older stuff yet. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually really happy that I went both nights because the sets were so different um, that I'm glad I got to experience them. But each night was great for different reasons. Also, the fact that I didn't really get a lot of footage from Don Broco or Dance Gavin Dance last night is mainly because I basically took last night as, like, I'm not really gonna film that much, I'm just gonna enjoy it and be in the pit and live my best life. And so, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of footage the first night and I didn't get as much the second night, so if you're wondering, that is why. I did do some of the things that I said I wanted to yesterday, you know, my goals list. Um, I did see Covet and they were really good. I mean, honestly, I really love their instrumental songs, so like, I was vibing and they looked like having so much fun up there. Someone brought them flowers. It was really cute. I think a lot of people were vibing to them too, so they were really great. Um, so I got to see them, which is on my goal list, you know. Um, Hail the Sun... Eh, you know, I don't know. Hail the Sun and Periphery, I was both just kind of like, meh. Like, I liked a, some, a handful of their songs, and like, they were fine live, but it's just like, I don't know, not my favorite style, you know? So I was just like, woohoo, I don't know. It was fine. Um, and then I obviously got to see Don Broco again. I love Don Broco so much, and if I had the energy, I might have stayed back and tried to like meet Rob or something, the lead singer, but I was so exhausted afterwards. Um, but yeah, I love Don Broco. I would see them again in a heartbeat. They are so much fun live, so energetic. They put on such a great show. Like, Rob got into the crowd yesterday and was doing all these things. Oh my god, it was so fun. Um, I successfully moshed Don Broco. I did a circle pit to Don Broco, and I actually did the wall of death to Don Broco this time, which was a fucking time. Oh my god, it was so lit, actually. Honestly, the two bands that I went hard for were Don Broco and Dance Gavin Dance. So I was kind of chilling during the first openers, went really hard during Don Broco, and then I left um, after Don Broco got water. And okay, so I told you guys that security like wasn't an issue Thursday night last night so i leave to get water right i come back and then i'm like getting my water i'm like looking around debating going to pee but that but i don't have to i was just like oh maybe i should just in case you know whatever but i have my water and the place where i get the water is close to like the entrance into the pit so i look over back to the entrance and there's the same security guard from the state champ show standing there he wasn't like preventing people from going in but i see him there and i'm like shit are they doing a capacity for this show like and I was like, well, I'm not going to pee. I was like, hell no, I am not losing my spot. So I, like, basically just went back into the pit. And it was fine. I didn't have to pee or anything, so life's fine. Um, and then I just basically held the water during periphery. I just stood there. Periphery, I... They're great live. They really are. It's not that. They're just, like, not my vibe. So I kind of just, like, drank my water and hung out. Actually, it worked out well, because I basically continued to hydrate throughout all of Periphery, and then during the time waiting before Dance Gavin Dance went on, so I finished that whole water bottle in that time, so I was ready and hydrated, and then ready to, like, go nuts and Dance Gavin Dance. Like, I was getting restless. I was like, I am so ready. And then they came on at 9, and it was great. Um, yeah. They are just fantastic. Like, I'm just so happy I went to both dates, because the first date, they played more songs I knew, but I wasn't as involved in the crowd, you know? But then last night, obviously they didn't play as many songs as I knew. However, I was way more involved. And honestly, the pits were so different between both nights. Like, there was a friend that I know who was there last night and afterwards, he only went to last night's date. So he was like, which night was better? And I was like, honestly, they were both pretty great, but they were both very different. Like, I, I don't know, okay, I don't wanna like, diss on fans if this is being mean or something, but I am wholly convinced that the people who were like the really tough, die-hard Dance Gavin Dance fans went to the Thursday show because obviously like that was the originally one date, you know? And they went to that show. And then everybody who is maybe like casual fan or like on the fence about going decided to go on the Friday date. Like I'm convinced because the pits were so different. The first date, it was like the reason I didn't go in the pit is because there were a lot of really big huge dudes and they were going so hard. The pit was also a lot more congested the first night and I don't know if that's because there wasn't a capacity the first night and there was last night. I really, I don't understand it. Um, 
but last night like it was a lot more people that were like my size like scrawnier I guess you could say I don't know and like shorter and smaller so I think I that's one of the reasons I felt more comfortable um so yeah that was a thing and also the pit was a lot wider it wasn't as congested um so you could move around more it was so fun though like I haven't moshed that hard at a show in a while honestly like I was going all out I fell on the ground a few times I fell and I like took someone down with me which I kind of felt bad about but I mean I didn't care I was going so hard in the pit um I have multiple bruises my foot is bruised my arms my shin it's everywhere um I crowd surfed just once and near the end which was really fun and yeah I mean overall it was a really fantastic show when the rattler started oh my god I get into like a fight or flight response when I hear the beginning of that song where I'm just like I must find a pit and I like run into it because like the beginning of that song is just so lit like ah, oh, they're fantastic live I'm so glad I got into them and then I decided to go to both of these dates because I think if I had just gone to one I wouldn't have been satisfied honestly you know like Thursday obviously I knew a lot of songs but I wasn't totally comfortable in the pit yet and then yesterday I had so much fun moshing but I didn't get to see all the songs I love you know so it was like a perfect mix I'm glad they changed it up and then it wasn't you know um, the same set every night it was fantastic um, and then my last goal was to try and get a set list to which um, you know I didn't do oh my god I literally hate myself so much like my life is a joke when it comes to set lists like I literally tweeted last night like will Gwen ever get a set list at a show I, I don't know I I really couldn't tell you probably not knowing my luck it is so bad they gave like almost all of them out and then like I turned my head for a second and then I look back and the girl next to me got one and I was like if I had just been looking and then I was with some friends at the end and we were just waiting there and I was like well I guess that's it I guess there's nothing else and but I like still I don't know just like stayed at barricade hoping something would happen no thing nothing was gonna happen um, and then my friends start to turn around they're like well I guess it's time to go and one of them goes over near the soundboard and he sees one on the table and he asks the sound guy he's like hey can I have that and I was like oh yeah and I'm like oh my god if I just got over there and looked I could have asked him for it oh my god and so like a mutual friend of mine basically got it and I like I was like can I just look at it <laughs> I won't take it from you. I just want to look at it in all its beautiful glory. Uh, so, I, you know what? Will Gwen ever get a set list? I really, I can't tell you. If I do get a set list for something, it's going to be for a band that I, like, don't give a crap about. I'm convinced. Um, but I did get a very nice, pretty ticket, though. I will tell you that. Um, because I was Will Call, so I actually got a ticket last night versus Thursday night show. I just had my ticket, like, on my phone. It was just, like, a Ticketmaster thing. So, last night I actually got a ticket. So, it's... It's very pretty. I like that I at least have this to show for it. Um, but yeah, no drumstick, no pick, no nothing, unfortunately. But I have bruises to show for it and uh, good memories. So that's all that matters. I hope you guys enjoyed this concert vlog. Um, leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys went to any dates on this tour. And I would love to hear about your experience. Or let me know your favorite Dance Gavin Dance song because I'd love to know. My next show is actually in like three days, and it's Law Dispute at Talia Hall here in Chicago. Um, never been there, never seen them. I'm, I'm gonna die. Um, but yeah, so that's my next show. I really hope you guys enjoyed this concert vlog. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you all next time. Bye!